we're talking about aortic stenosis. But only how to identify severe cases, right? Yes, it can be hard. What does severe imply? You might need to do something about it. Like replace the valve. Don't we always do something about it? No, some patients do quite well with medical treatment. I read that once symptoms like angina, syncope or heart failure develop. Survival is only one to three years. Those are old data, referring to what we would now call critical aortic stenosis. Yes. Over time we use words differently. Like suffering, once it meant a life in the salt mines. Now it means exceeding your download limit before the end of the month. Currently severe stenosis means a cross-sectional area under 1 cm squared. What's a normal value? That's an interesting question. Fully open, it can be 4 square centimeters in large people. But the valve is designed not to open fully if there's low flow. I see. So if flow is low, a mildly stenosed valve can give an area under 1 square centimeter. And sometimes a severe valve stenosis can be the cause of low flow. We need to tell them apart. How do we do it? Well, you have to measure the pressure gradient across the valve and calculate the valve area. We can plot these in four quadrants. These people have high gradient and low valve area. They have severe valve stenosis. And these people have low gradient and higher valve area. They have milder stenosis with low flow. Okay, so these people with low gradient and valve area might have severe valve stenosis. Yes. Around one third of suspected cases were found here. Why is the flow low? Is it because the left ventricle is struggling? Usually, yes. They may have failing hypertrophy. Or concomitant coronary disease. What about beta blockers? Imagine if you're trying to open a stuck manhole. You'd need all your muscles. And beta blockers reduce contractility. You may be better off without them. Is the valve the only load the LV faces? We used to think so, when most people with aortic stenosis had rheumatic or bicuspid valve. Low blood pressure was common in that situation. But now most patients have degenerative disease with vascular changes which increase left ventricular afterload. Yes. After the valve has opened it still has to work against vascular impedance. Right. Not only do the muscles have to open the manhole, there's a car sitting on it as well. I see. Get rid of your car and you don't have to have your valve replaced. 